Welcome back, football fans. We got two teams fighting for second place in this new CWC Large, Wittenberg Burnham Woods, heading over to Amherst. And the pep band says, hey, is in the hey song, opening Whitburn Drive here. They're forced to punt. Owen Pingle says, hey, himself, and gets a hand on the football. Falcons get to the Chargers, three yard line. So it'd be fourth down. Michael Godowski's gonna try the play action, but the Chargers defense sniffing this one out. The Falcons, though, would get another shot. Second quarter, Aiden Nerdall's taking the handoff, breaks through some tackles and finds pay dirt. A lot of scoring would end up happening after we depart, and we didn't get to see it, but it would be the Whitburn Chargers knocking off the ninth-ranked Falcons on the road. Our final score out west, 28 to 19. Tom Field welcoming in the Warriors fans for their final time this season as West welcomes in River Falls. Home team trailing 21-7 in the second, but we say it all year, complimentary football. Five hats swarming to the ball for West. That's Cooper DePoint doing the rest. Takes the fumble recovery to the house. The Warriors defense putting their squad right back in this one. The student section loves it. Under three minutes left in the half. Wildcats are looking for a deep shot to answer, but Jacob Sampson showing some tremendous Tremendous ball skill there. He hawks it out of the air and would put together a nice return into plus territory of the Wildcats, although the offense unable to capitalize. River Falls attempting a 40-yarder here before the half, and they'd miss it. And all that momentum carried into the locker room would prevail for a victory. They complete the two-score comeback, and tonight's win puts the Warriors on the bubble, making them playoff eligible. They'll wait for tomorrow morning's postseason show right here on News 9 to see if they make it through the seeding process. Next, we'll arrive over to Spencer High School around halftime. SC's hosting Marathon in both of these teams' final game of the season. Spencer Columbus trailing by two scores, backed up third and face, facing third and 15. But that's the QB, Devin Timler, delivering with poise to Matt Konechny, and they move the chains. But it wasn't even the best catch of the drive. Check out this one-handed snag from Mason Wolf. Shakes one defender, and that drive would end up being capped off by Jack Hoper, finding the score from two yards out. He walks it in, but it's true thurs in this Raider offense, posting a season-high 46 points. They go out with a bang, reigning victorious 46-14. One final water break is in store this season. We'll be right back with our eight-man game of the week. 